This is something that I'm super excited about and many others are excited about as well, bringing quite a lot of attention within the community. I'm super grateful to be able to get my hands on this unit and for a big name in the mechanical keyboard market, it's surprising that this is their first number pad and I have to make it really clear that this is not the final retail product and is not the regular edition, so there are some differences which I'll point out throughout the video. The box looks pretty cool with the pocket logo and numbers and stuff. Inside the box we get a little manual, a warranty card, we also have our micro USB cable with the classic ducky loop, then we get a handy ducky wire keycap puller, and finally we have the ducky pocket itself. Many people in the mechanical keyboard community opt to go with keyboards without numpads, and this is where dedicated numpads come into play, where we can just pull it out when we actually need to crunch some numbers. But the thing that's caught everyone's eye is that little screen at the top, because of course this can be also used as a calculator, which is like the coolest thing ever. Looking around the unit, the design is pretty simple and falls in line with their other products. This version is a dark blue slash purple, but the final version will be in black. These keycaps are pretty thin ABS that are coated in black and laser etched, so they're not the best. However, on the retail version, they're going with double shot PBT keycaps, which is good. On the bottom, we have a cool VIP plate. We also have four small rubber feet for non-slip and a single wide flip up foot, which creates a pretty standard angle of elevation. And we have our battery door which shows a slot for a CR2032 battery which is not included with the pocket so you're gonna have to go out and buy one. This isn't for wireless use with the device but it will allow you to use the calculator function whenever and wherever. And on the rear we have a micro USB port. Taking off the keycaps we can see an array of switches. This is only on this VIP edition, so if you were to buy one, it'll only come with the one switch colour that you pick. And these are Cherry MX RGB switches with clear housings. I have red, black and nature white switches, which are all linear switches. This is the first time I've come across nature white switches actually, and they're not to be confused with the Cherry MX whites that are clicky. Although, like the other Cherry MX Linears, they're quite scratchy which is something I wish Cherry would fix. And when we plug it in, we of course have RGB LEDs just because. And like the Ducky Shine series, the lighting can be customised, however, it's all on board rather than through software. By pressing Function and Escape, we can go through the different lighting modes. The first mode is Full Lighting Mode. We can adjust the colour by using the RGB buttons which each have 10 levels. We can also pick a specific colour by entering the colour palette with function and enter and then choosing a colour from there. The second mode is wave mode which can also be adjusted in colour in the same way. And for any modes that have effects, the speed can be changed with function and 4 to decrease and 6 to increase speed. The third mode is breathing mode which again can be adjusted. The fourth mode is the raindrop mode which is random RGB colours and the fifth is reactive mode which is also random RGB and finally the last is with everything off. We can also fully customise the colour of each key. To do that we hold the function key and the 9 key which says rec1 and for this the colour of the function key will show the colour that the key will be. So we can enter the colour palette mode by pressing function and enter and then we can pick colour. So if we pick yellow, the function key at the top will show the colour yellow and then we can press whatever keys we want, then we can go ahead and pick the other colours for the other keys. The colours can also be customised with the RGB keys as well. Number pads are perfect accessories for putting macros on, effectively making it like a macro pad. There are two profiles which are on PC1 mode and PC2 mode, which can be chosen with a function key. To enter the macro setting mode, hold FN and 0 for 3 seconds and the FN key alone will start flashing. Then we can press any key except for the function key, effectively giving us 22 programmable keys over 2 profiles giving us 44 overall. The key will light up and this is where we look to the manual and the diagrams that it has. Basically we need to enter 4 digits that correspond to a designated key or key combination and it covers three layouts being ANSI, ISO, and JN. 
And they have some good examples here, so if we want to configure the number 1 key to the letter A, we press 0065 and then press enter. This is because in the diagram it shows 65 on the letter A, and since we have to enter 4 digits, we enter 2 zeros before it. The second example explains the multimedia functions shown here. Since there are 3 digits, we still have to enter a zero before it. So to assign the number 2 key to calculator, we make sure we're in the macro setting mode and then press 2 and then enter 0708 and then press enter. We can use the modify keys as well like control and shift. So with the same steps before, we can assign a key to execute control alt delete by entering 5046. And finally, it of course can be used as a mouse with all these functions here if for some reason you want to do that. And that's that. It's a great built-in inclusion that's all on board, and it has many use cases like you would expect. For gaming, it can be used with the left hand as the primary device, so you can have WASD and all that on there, and it will give you a heap of free space for massive mouse movements, but it can also be used on the side of your keyboard for assigned attacks or something. Macros are also super convenient for work purposes for whatever programs you may use that will increase your efficiency over time. This is super useful for me when I do video editing and CAD work. And finally just random stuff like for web browsing and media keys is pretty useful, but since it has no software we can't record macros like we can on other keyboards, such as a longer combination of keys that may type out a whole sentence or something. As we know this can be used as a calculator as well. We can switch to calculator mode while it's still plugged in and use it as so. But the cool thing is that we can unplug it and put in a CR2032 battery and use it anywhere. The weird thing though is that it's only on half battery life for some reason, even with the new batteries in, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. However, in this mode there are no crazy RGB lighting modes and stuff, which is understandable. As you can expect, it's a pretty basic calculator. In fact, it doesn't really offer anything other than the basic functions, so it's not going to replace the scientific calculator for school or anything. So that's that. I've had so much fun with this cool little numpad slash calculator. I just find it so awesome that Ducky decided to make a numpad and just thought why not go all out on it. So they chuck in Cherry MX switches with RGB lighting, double shot PBT keycaps, macro capability, and on top of all of that, they put a screen on top and made it a calculator, which can also be battery operated. So really the only thing missing is Bluetooth, which would make it absolutely amazing. But the most amazing thing is that they just did it without anyone really even asking. No one really demanded it, but they did it anyway, and that's just what I found quite funny, but really cool. The Ducky Pocket will be available really soon, and I just think that it's one of the funnest products out there at the moment, with a bunch of cool features, and will be an awesome addition to anyone's setup.